Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So, in today's video we are going to talk about Win Later C Mode version 13.1 update. This is going to be a performance unleashed update. Here you will get to see stronger performance than the Win Later original. In this update, the shared memory feature has been removed. CPU overheating has reduced a lot due to this. And I also noticed this thing during the gameplay that the heating problem has been reduced a lot here. This time in this update, you will get to see a very noticeable performance boost even in low-end devices. Most of the time you will be able to achieve playable FPS. And in this update, you have been given the feature to apply CS and DLS effects in the game shortcut. This thing makes the textures of your game very sharp and clear. That too without any FPS drop. Assets like DXV's VKD 3D and GPU driver have been updated and especially for low-end devices, you will get to see stripped and all versions of DXV which are specially made for low-end devices. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you its complete setup and at the same time I will also give you performance proof. So the video is going to be a very interesting video to watch. You guys will watch it from start to end and if you are new to the channel then subscribe for such great videos. So without wasting any more time let's start amazing videos. Alright guys, so this is the well later C mode version 13.1 update which I have already set up. So first of all, let me explain its settings to you. You have to go inside the settings option by sliding. Here you have to set the box 64 preset on performance mode. Then the cursor speed has to be made 200%. Then click on the right, and by sliding here you will see all the features of the game later. Here you can also add custom GPU driver. And inside the controller manager you can configure the controller. With this you can play multiplayer. I made a full video in this. You can also check out that video. You will find it on the channel. Then here you have to create a container. Let me explain my settings to you. Brother, first of all, Click on the three dots and go to edit. Here you have to set the resolution according to your device. Then I have selected Proton Arm 64 EC. Then in this update of GPU driver, you will see wrapper version 2. In its settings here you can select the GPU driver version. So now for MLGPU devices you have to select the system GPU driver only. But those devices that support the GPU driver, they can also select the latest GPU driver from here. In the max video, I have kept 2 gigabytes here. You can keep it according to your device. And after that you have to set the frame screens on always. Then that's it. After this you have to select OK. Now we will go inside the settings of DXV. Here the strip and all versions are given for the low end devices of DXV. But here I have selected 2.3.1 ARM 64 EC. After this we will scroll down. Here I have selected box 64 in 32 bit emulation. Then below you have to turn on the full screen stretch. After that we will slide here and go to the advanced settings. Here in box 64 you will see the latest 3.7. Then you have to set the preset on performance mode. You will find this effect score. You have to select it. Then you have to make the so mode the fastest. Here we will keep multi-block enabled. Then this time I remove the aggressive startup selection because there were controller issues in it. So here you have to select the essential one. Then right click on it. After that you have to create a game shortcut because extra features are given here. First of all, you can configure the settings according to the game here. After that you will go to advanced settings. So from here you can also select the controller profile. You can select the control profile according to the game you are starting. And here you will get to see the feature of sharpness effect where you can select the features of DLS and CS. This increases your sharpness a lot. So I selected CS here and started the game. I will also show you its sharpness. So I have also selected the controller profile here and our game has also started quickly. And at this time guys you can see that we are getting above 60 FPS here inside. But what happens is that whenever we step out of the house in the other milder version, there is a sudden performance impact. But look here, there is no performance impact at all. We are getting constant FPS above 60, which is a very strong performance improvement. According to my device, I can also tell that there has definitely been an improvement in performance here. Earlier, I did not get constant FPS here. There used to be some fluctuation. There was also stuttering in between. But all those things have been eliminated here. Along with this, the heating issues have also reduced a lot. Earlier, my phone used to literally melt. But this time, along with the performance, the heating issue has also been reduced a lot. Now you see the settings of my game here. All are set to normal because I have kept the textures etc normal here. But still the textures that we are seeing here are very next level. And this is the magic of the CSS feature and it literally upscales your graphics. This is a very amazing feature. Exactly the features that are seen in consoles like PS5, we are seeing something similar here. Look at the textures of the road, they are looking very clear and you can also see the texture in Michael's shirt, brother, clearly a very strong improvement has been done. Now I am going to show you a very strong magic here. You must have seen that the explosions have a lot of FPS effects here. Now you see how smooth the explosions are getting to see because brother, the FPS is not getting affected at all. Literally we get to see constant FPS around 60. So really, a very strong performance improvement has been done this time. So how did you like this magic, guys, do tell me in the comment. And for such amazing magic, please subscribe to the channel. I will meet you in the next video.